I want to just reflect back on the first time I touched some people who were part of Emissaries of Divine Light or people at Sunrise Ranch. Actually, the first time I ever touched this ministry was when I was in chiropractic school. But what I actually touched wasn't any words, it was atmosphere. And I do think many people have that experience when they come to Sunrise or even touch our website. They experience something, they feel something, that then they go searching to find words to try and explain what the heck that was. Sometimes they make up stuff. Sometimes the person that they touched finds the best way they can explain what it is that they, they touched. But I love that experience of what the heck was that? That experience of something new just entered into my field. Something different than I've ever known before. And my mind, my thinking realm can barely find the tools to explain what that was, but I know it and I know it's real. Anybody else had that experience? You know it and you just, you, you could use paragraphs to try and explain what just happened. And it's not very satisfying because it is being in the atmosphere of someone who's decided they're going to live their life connected to that vibrational pattern. They're going to live and reveal it through their living, which is what human beings are designed to do, to be the arms and legs, hands and feet, eyes and ears and mouthpiece of something holy. And many times people are under the influence of spirit and they're bringing it the best they can based on the way in which they currently think and feel. And then you have this moment of touching the atmosphere of something greater and it's like, well, what the heck was that? And it doesn't fit into the context of what you knew was holy and sacred. It was more. And it was you. Because I don't know if you've had this experience where several of you are in the same atmosphere and you're the only one having the experience. Other people either aren't open to it or they don't know what it is or they're disregarding it. But there takes some, it, it is something within the person of the blessed state of um, surrender or desperation, some way in which the human mind and heart is cracked open enough to, to be available to a vibration different than what was familiar to you. How you maintain then the possibility of I am in a holy atmosphere, I'm creating a holy atmosphere, and now I can think differently. I can see what's trying to come from the influence of God, the influence of the universe, and be born through me. I know a lot of people, and I've done this myself, where I thought if I could just get up there and figure it out, then I could bring it. Thank goodness there's some kind of protection mechanism where the human psyche out of, out of order can't go up there and mess around with it. But we can continue to become more and more open to what is possible to move through this human experience so that we can be an instrument of love, an instrument of creation, so that when someone does step in our atmosphere, they might walk away or even in your face say, what the heck is that? Happens here at sunrise a lot, and in some ways it is because of the way people have chosen to be here. But if any of the people who live at sunrise believe it's not their responsibility, the response that is coming to their very generation will not be able to find its way home. I have the I take the stance that any person who came to Sunrise is my responsibility because I called them home. And now it's my responsibility to sing them into their greatness. To see that their wholesome contribution is not only welcomed, it's necessary, and it's a blessing to this planet to allow an ever-increasing atmosphere of the mother house. <laughs>